Okay. I'm going to have to. This is over the five thousand. Uh, I have to cut out some text after I paste it. Mm. It started with JFK. This is a very important video. I have the timestamp. How America got taken over by this Nazi cabal. In the video linked above, mention was made of MLK's Martin, Martin Luther King's assassination in the context of white hat, black hat military fighting each other. Question, who assassinated MLK? Intuitively, it is tempting to think the black hats did it because they are the bad guys. But think about this. MLK was trying to advocate for civil rights desegregation, if I'm not mistaken. What is the saying about a divided people, or better yet, in our modern context, multiculturalism or diversity? Think of the Tower of Babel in the Bible. Diversity makes society less homogenous. When people of different races occupy the same space, there may be racial conflict. This makes society divided and easy to conquer. In this way, I guess, in this way. Could MLK's assassination be deemed a white hat operation? The good guys, or the, I guess it depends on your point of view. If you want to preserve your society, <laughs> um, uh, you know, Maybe the white hats were trying to save America proper, or the America, which by which I mean the America that fought the Nazis and won World War II. On the dark side, the cabal sought to promote MLK civil rights in order to create a heterogeneous or racially uh, inclusive in a way, American society that was internally divided by race, amongst other things, and so easy to conquer in the big picture of things. The same thing is happening to Europe now, mass migration, intentional to conquer society by creating racial, ethnic animosity, to conquer it from within as has been mentioned before, this is a strategy of this Nazi cabal. This is their revenge over what America and Europe did to them during World War II. This cabal likes to promote diversity, civil rights, feminism, LGBTQ, social justice, all these minority rights. But are they doing this because... They legitimately care about the rights of the disenfranchised? Or are they doing it to divide and conquer? It's like what George Orwell said, what evil, divide and conquer, is now considered good, equality, civil rights, social justice. They're using positive sounding things to promote a malicious purpose from the big picture. We have to look at the bigger picture. This Nazi cabal engages in information warfare. They want to divide and conquer their enemies. 
in this case US and Europe, which as some have suggested, stand in the way over their complete domin dominion of this planet. As mentioned by others, this is an evil James Bond villain supranational cabal with the religious Luciferian underpinnings. These people are diabolical, cartoonishly villainous. They do, but they do so much harm and don't really face the consequences, bunkered as they are in their fortress Antarctic underground civilization. I don't like saying things like this, but this villainous cabal needs to be needs to understand doing harm to surface humanity can have negative repercussions to the Antarctic fortress directly. Just think of Lahaina, the do attack, all those people. How evil do you have to be to do that? And what happened to all those children? Probably kidnapped so they can be used as pilots for the conscious controlled consciousness controlled UFOs which were probably donated by ETs or made from ET technology or used as a replacement population for the underground bases or even the Antarctica base, who knows? These people are just vile, just must be opposed spiritually, morally, mentally, psychologically, and yes, even physically. I don't want to advocate for violence, but that may be beyond my control. You have to stop evil. I don't know if these white hats are uh, effective. I think they're they're like it's like a inter it's like a family fighting with itself. But it's the opposition. The white hats really don't have much power, and I don't think they will go against their own kind. <laughs> I think it's the same people fighting with each other, but they're only like reacting. I'm not sure the White Hats have a uh, plan. I think they're just reacting or trying to stop the excesses of this cabal. Now, having said that, I don't know if the White Hats killed MLK, but the idea of the cabal using divide and conquer tactics is very real and relevant. Pan Germanism. Here it is. It's an excellent quote. It's uh, referring to a book. It's not simply Nazis, it's these Germans. They are insane. Uh, I guess I shouldn't. Um, and not all Germans, no. But this group racial supremacists, eugenicists. These people are dangerous to the human race. The Nazis haven't left. They just went on the ground. Putin was right. He keeps on saying it. He's fighting the Nazis in Ukraine. Um, Denazification. Except these Nazis, this pan-German mentality is all over Europe and the US. It's under another guise. The guise of equality, diversity, democracy, human rights. These people are wicked, using positive sounding phrases to carry out their pan-German Nazi agenda. They are but diabolical, just like the cartoonish Nazis. That's how these people think. Fluoride causes low IQ in children. The Nazi cabal enacting diabolical measures, taking revenge on humanity. <clears throat> Just a note, the person who made the decision to not release the report is transgender. You have to... Apparently there was a court case, which is still ongoing. Garment scientists found that fluoride seems to cause low IQ in children. And the government in the court case uh, decided that the report by their own scientists should not be published. And the decision to not release a report is trans is made by someone who looks transgender. This may be a deliberate decision by the evil Nazi cabal. 
It's a middle finger to the moms and affected children saying something like, ha ha, see a trans person is making a decision to subvert your legal action in a case about your children's health. Uh, so this is sort of like my sort of thinking. By drinking fluoride, your children are becoming dumb and may end up being a trans person who's also dumb. See the wickedness here? These people use, uh, they, are, they have an occult. Uh, they use symbolism, numbers, and this is just my interpretation. I'm not saying the trans person here is maliciously doing this. So I don't really know understand that I don't I haven't done any research. I'm I'm using this as and so I don't want to be I'm not trying to defame. <laughs> I'm not trying to uh what I'm what I'm suggesting here is I'm interpreting the optics the optics of a transgender person making a decision to not a release a report, a government report showing fluoride in the drinking water causes low IQ in children. I'm saying the optics of that can be like a something that's deliberately engineered by the cabal. Maybe they put this person in this position and um so the, the, the this is the the optics it's like they 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 you know how they like to um show you what they're about to do before they do it that karmic thing it may also be like a, a big middle finger to the people saying look it's like haha we are killing your children or poisoning your food and look we are doing it out in the open and look it's such a wicked kind of way the no plane for 9-11 this is the the nazis are literally laughing at our downfall yeah this 9-11 rabbit hole is there were no planes if you look at the videos there was an explosion and the and if you follow the thread this is something that even i once you see it once you see the deception for yourself, the extent of the evil of the deception uh, that has been perpetrated on humanity will start to sink in. Then you will know how they convinced people of the moon landing. Think about how many lies. And I don't think it's all just Nazis. I think this goes back to the dawn of the human race. I think there is an evil non-human intelligence an interdimensional being call it a demon if you will that's been playing tricks on humanity a joker with a twisted sense of humor who looks at human beings as something to fool uh, uh, it might be entertaining for this evil being <laughs> oh, which i call evil a trickster a joker and he's using humanity to promote this kind of lying and deceiving, getting people to believe in falsities, uh, you know, like, believe, imagine what kind of an evil person you have to be, like, you get to people who believe in something which is a complete lie, just because you want to um and maybe the the this evil being uh gets off on uh, destroying people i mean imagine the ontological shock to realize oh my god i cannot believe they did this to us it's not just the intelligence agencies it's not just the nazis it's an evil force in the spiritual heavenly realms of the, the Nazis are occultish, uh, and uh, like I said, the Nazis are he. You know, if the Nazis are humans, and I think the humans who are the Nazis, they're as much susceptible to this evil force as every anyone else. It's an evil force, a dark evil force, 
that's plaguing humanity. And I think it's been around on this planet. And maybe it's in another dimension, in another universe, who knows? Uh, but it's 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 a, it's an evil uh, entity. It's a demonic being that's tricking, deceiving, uh, joking on humanity, getting people to, to believe, and then going ha 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 ha. I made you believe. But what the but the, but uh, the amount of suffering that humanity experiences that for this evil being it's like it doesn't mean anything but for humanity the amount of harm it's creating it's a lot and I think in order to defeat this evil being you have to like uh, I guess you you have to because there one way I guess is to is to is to uh, find balance. You don't want to. You don't want to uh, directly fight this evil. I mean, you don't want to make a devil. Uh, uh, you don't want to dance with this evil. You know. You know when you're dealing with this kind of depravity, you don't want to engage it because if you engage it, it will destroy you. It will. It will. Like you can become consumed with anger, revenge, and hatred, and that's that's exactly what it wants. So you have to sort of like find balance and not get sucked in. Um, yeah, that 9-11, you know, they were playing videos of the plane hitting, but people on the ground said they didn't see a plane. And and, and apparently they scrubbed all of that. And, and, and intelligence agencies, people in the media... Giving videos to the to the news agency saying, "Look, play this video," and the video might have already been a pre-shot uh, kind of uh, you know green screen type of thing. Um, a bomb. Uh, it, it was explosions. It could have been uh, directed energy weapons, but maybe they didn't have it at that time, or maybe they did. I don't know. Maybe they were testing it. Uh, you know. Uh, what is that uh, termite used to uh, melt the steel? Because fire petrol cannot melt it, so termite. Um, and I think, you know, the Pentagon, the people who are doing this were located in the Pentagon and in the so-called white hats shot the missile at the Pentagon. And, and that was mentioned up in the other video anyway. How are we? Um, 